Hello and welcome to my channel where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing some affordable perfumes from Anthropology, including from Nostalgia, Outremer, and Pharmacia. Thank you so much for stopping by and let's get started. So I've been looking at the perfumes that Anthropology carries for a while, and I decided to go ahead and give some of them a try. It seems like they have a good range of affordable options, and I always like finding good deals on perfumes, and all of the options in this video are under $30. Anthropology also has sales from time to time on beauty products, where you can get an additional 20% off fragrances. I went ahead and picked up seven perfumes from three of their main brands that they carry, which are Nostalgia, Outremer, and Pharmacia. Anthropology also carries the brand Toka, but that's readily available at other places like Sephora and Nordstrom, so I didn't include those in this video. But let me know if you'd like a review of my Toka fragrances. First, I picked up one perfume from Outremer, which is a French brand. I think the packaging on this line is cute. The bottle is glass. And while the atomizer and tiny cap aren't my favorite, I think that kind of goes along with the price point. This was $20 for 1.6 ounces. And the scent that I picked up from Outremer is Vigny. And they don't give exact fragrance notes, but it's described as a powdery, delicately spiced vanilla blend. And I have to say right off the bat, this is absolutely delicious. It's a strong vanilla scent that smells almost like pure vanilla extract, but it also has a little bit of a baked goods feel to it, kind of like vanilla cake. And it also has a sugary cotton candy quality to it as well, along with kind of a toasted note, almost as if you were melting the cotton candy or something like caramel. And I really do love this one. I think it's amazing and such a fantastic deal for $20. And out of all of the scents in this video, it is the best deal size wise because you get almost twice as much perfume for the least cost. So I think that this is a really great option, especially if you enjoy vanilla scents or gourmand scents. Next, I picked up four scents from the brand Nostalgia, and they seem to have a wedding themed collection, and I was interested in several of those scents, so I went ahead and picked those up. And these were all $24 for one ounce, and they all have a slight tint to them with a different color for each scent. The bottles are glass, and they're actually very similar to the Le Monde Gourmand bottles, and I have several reviews on my channel of those fragrances, which are sold at Urban Outfitters, which is actually a sister company to Anthropology. And I will just say that I don't love the labels on these bottles. They seem like just regular paper stuck onto the front, so I think if it got wet, it would get damaged and possibly smear the print, so I'll just have to be careful to spray away from the label side. So the first nostalgia fragrance is I Do, and again, this is part of the wedding-themed collection. And this is described as, inspired by your special day, this fresh blend of peony and musk invites you to remember the excitement of walking down the aisle. And this is a soft floral scent. It feels very fresh with just a tiny hint of sweetness to it. And I do get the musk as well, but the peony really is the predominant note here. So if you're not interested in floral fragrances, this is probably not the one for you. Um, and personally, I just wish it had a little bit more sweetness to it. It does, though, seem fitting for, you know, a wedding kind of day fragrance, maybe as a guest. Um, but I don't think that there's anything that kind of stands out in the scent as, you know, very different or exceptional. It's just kind of your standard soft, musky floral scent. And the next nostalgia scent that I picked up is Slow Dance. And this one is described as inspired by shopping for your first high school dance, this blend of sweet strawberries, lychee, and caramel take you back to slow dancing with that special someone. And I really do like this one. I initially get a lot of the fruitiness. I can pick up the strawberry for sure, and maybe just a little bit of the lychee. There's definitely something giving it a little bit of sharpness at first. And then you also get some of that caramel, which isn't super like sticky and heavy. It just gives the scent a slightly sugary sweetness. 
And I feel overall the scent is more fruity than sweet, but it is definitely a sweet scent. I really do like this one and it, it kind of gives me the same feel as a lot of the like strawberry uh, fragrance myths at Bath and Body Works. So I don't think it's anything we haven't smelled before, but I do think that it's really nice and smells really good. And then the third nostalgia scent is Golden Hour. And this one is described as, inspired by the fleeting magic of Golden Hour, the sweet blend of white almond, jasmine sandback, and cashmere musk captures the essence of your most memorable sunsets. And I also think this one is pretty nice. It's a light floral scent with a subtle almond note to it. And it also feels very warm. And so I think the name is very appropriate. It does feel, you know, kind of golden. And I do feel I'm getting a nice mix of that musk as well as the white floral mixing with just that, you know, hint of almond to make a nice, you know, subtly sweet, warm floral scent that has a nice, really soft kind of muskiness to it. So I do think that this is a really nice one and probably another one of my favorites in this collection. And the last scent that I picked up from Nostalgia is Road Trip. And I'm not sure if this is also part of the wedding themed collection. And this is described as inspired by cross country trips, this airy blend of jasmine, crisp apple, and violet tea conjures images of scenic views, charming diners, and the wide open road. And this one actually smells kind of beachy to me, even though it doesn't have any of the typical beachy notes like coconut. It's maybe just sort of an outdoorsy type of feeling. And I find that the apple is sweet and not tart. And I also found that at first the tea note was a little too strong for me, but it did soften to be a lot more wearable. And the jasmine in here is also soft and does kind of take a backseat to the apple. And the scent just doesn't come across as heavily floral. Overall, this scent seems like kind of your run of the mill fruity floral with a tea note added. And I do think it's my least favorite of the nostalgia scents, but I don't typically like tea notes in my fragrances, so that was probably to be expected. And if I had to rank the nostalgia scents, I would definitely say that Slow Dance is my favorite, followed closely by Golden Hour. I also do think that I Do is nice if you like floral scents, and lastly would be Road Trip. And then I picked up a couple scents from the brand Pharmacia, and these are $26 for one ounce, so these are the most expensive ones out of this batch. And I think that the bottles are decent. They're glass, they have a, you know, nice metal top, but, you know, there aren't anything super heavyweight or, you know, fancy. <laughs> And the first scent that I picked up from Pharmacia is Vanilla Doré. And this one is described as a spicy scent of roasted almond and clove layered with vanilla and blonde woods. And this is another lovely vanilla scent, but this one is quite spicy. It's sort of a holiday baked goods kind of spicy with like cloves and cinnamon. And I do also pick up some of that blonde woods. It's sweet and vanillic, but warm and spicy as well. So it's not a super sugary, sweet vanilla type of scent. And I just find that this type of, you know, warm, spicy vanilla mixed with woods is really pretty and really wearable. And so I really do like this one. Compared to the Outremer vanilla, I do feel like, you know, this is much, you know, spicier, less sweet. And I would say that I do prefer the Outremer as a kind of straight vanilla scent, but I do think that this one from Pharmacia is really nice as well. And the last scent that I have today is also from Pharmacia, and it is Rose Epice. And this is described as an intoxicating blend of star jasmine, heliotrope, and raspberry champagne topped with sandalwood and golden amber. And I also think that this one is really nice. It's a soft floral with a nice fruity raspberry note. I really like heliotrope and I think it brings a nice touch of powderiness to the scent. And the scent is also warm and I don't find that the sandalwood or the amber are sharp or harsh. I feel like there's also a subtle sweetness to the fragrance as well. So overall, I think that this is a nice, warm, fruity floral without being overly floral. And it's a very pleasant scent and it, it is much softer than the previous one, Vanilla Doré. 
So overall, I did find a few scents in this batch that I really do enjoy. I think that Outremer Vigny is by far the standout and my top recommendation. It seems very strong, long lasting, and the scent is just absolutely beautiful. I also really enjoy Vanilla Doré and Rose Epicé from Pharmacia. I think that they're both really nice scents. And from Nostalgia, Slow Dance and Golden Hour were my favorites, but I kind of feel like the Outremer and the Pharmacia scents just made more of an impact on me. But I do really like Slow Dance, especially from Nostalgia. So that's it for my review of Anthropology Perfumes. Let me know if you've tried any of these or if you're interested in picking any of them up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.